Hey, welcome to this journey wheel. I'm Keisha and today I'll be sharing how I design and build my IKEA Pax wardrobe. So if that's something that you're interested in, then continue watching. And if at any point throughout the video you do find it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button so I know how you feel. If you're not new to the channel, you know that I've been living out of my suitcase for the last eight months as I was unwilling to buy the bullets to purchase the closet system. However, recently it's june yes this june we were finally willing to buy the bullets and finally purchase the closet system while they have set templates of cupboard systems that you can get you also have the option of customizing the closet system for your own measurements in a way i use the online configurator the online designer once you are on the ikea website you head to the planners and configurator section now it's organized by room so i headed to bedroom and i wanted the pax system so i went to the pax configurator once it's loaded, I went, I was doing it myself. So I went to the create your own. Now you can create, you can configure the room size to your current size, but I knew the size I was working with. I was working with 150 centimeters. So I went with two of the 75 cupboards, 75 centimeter cupboards. I also knew the doors I wanted, which were the Auli glass doors. Now for the internal components, the first side, there was a template that I was interested in that I liked because it was basically the same setup that I wanted. So I went ahead and selected that. So of course you can select some of the pre-made templates. And then for the other side, I went ahead and created my own um, configuration because it didn't have the setup that I wanted. So what I basically did, I wanted four drawers below um the slide out like accessory drawer and then the glass um piece but the glass piece and the, the wooden piece is about the same price so to me it didn't make a difference now the configurator would let you know if the items will fit or not um so it's not going to lead you wrong in terms of how the items are going to fit once i had everything i just shifted it down so it will be snug and yes once you're happy you can go ahead and click next now you don't have to um, confirm your purchase or anything you can save this as a project and access it at a later date if you're not ready to purchase or you want to you know plan out things change some things it will be saved as a project and you can edit it at a later date but these are all the prices here and yeah So for this particular system, I was working with a space of 150 centimeters, a little over 150 centimeters. So I got two of the 75 centimeter width and the height was 236, which was the tallest. Um, and for our space, we still have room on top with the 236 centimeters. So 75, 75, 150. It filled the space perfectly. I didn't do the measurements. My husband did all the measurements. Then we also went with the option. Now, <laughs> my system or our systems, well, my system was a little more expensive than his, but ours is relatively expensive. However, depending on the doors that you choose, it could be less. So <laughs> because we wanted to keep the same aesthetic, we went with the same, we went with sliding doors. These are the oily. Oli, I believe, and those are the glass sliding doors that come in panels. The interior, they basically call it the components, and again, you can design it how you wish. In total, my system came up to 750 euro. Actually, no, it came up to 710. Yeah, it came up to 710 euro. And my understanding, don't quote me on this, I believe that's because I shop from the IKEA Italian site. And I think that the Italian system, like the prices are just higher. I believe in the US, if I did it in the US, it would be relatively cheaper, I guess, because of the taxes and stuff in Italy. So now in terms of assembly, the assembly took us roughly 12 hours and we did stop for lunch. So we started at a little close to 10 in the morning and we finished close to 10 at night. Um, and that was for the entire system. Now, 
in the booklet they it's a little cute with the ikea man and you know it says no to one person and yes to two persons because uh, my husband he did his closet by himself because he had me there to help he said this is a lot easier with two persons now he did the majority of the heavy lifting the majority of the work but having someone else there is very helpful especially for these sliding doors to put in these sliding doors and help with other little things now what helped us while well, there is the ikea manual sometimes it's not 100% helpful, but there's a channel on YouTube, PP Flat Pack. I'll link it in the description. I'll link it in the cards. I'll link to the channel or I'll link to the video that we used. Um, PP Flat Pack, his channel, I don't know if he has any other um, brands, but he has all the IKEA videos you could possibly want. So he has the pack system. He has videos for the sliding doors. He has videos for like the tables, the chairs, the bed, like anything you need to put together from IKEA. Tables, whatever. He has it on his channel. So not just for the pack system, but any system. He has the tutorial. Now, sometimes in the tutorial and i guess he would know what is easier <laughs> it may not follow the same instructions from the manual so you can still follow the book or you could follow his technique um he may say do a step before another step and sometimes it is helpful because the booklet may say do step five then six but sometimes if you do step six first it makes step five easier so i'll include some of the footage from us putting together well babe <laughs> putting together the system and i will include if i didn't touch any tips i'll include some tips now we paid 17 euro for delivery and they bring it upstairs into your room of choice and it comes in all the pieces like this now of course we would start with the shell which were the two cupboards so go ahead open those boxes <laughs> yeah anyway so we start with the first cupboard um so we just make sure to lay the pieces especially the two sides in the correct direction um so once we put it together it would be fine and while you saw the space that we were working with and just be careful when you're opening one of the boxes contain the pieces and what bar likes to do is separate all the pieces into their respective categories because it makes it easier once you start constructing you have all the pieces together and we began assembly following the instructions from the booklet as well as the tutorial from pp flat pack and yeah once we put it together put it to stand and what we did was because we had the second cupboard i went ahead and because you have to hammer some nails for the back piece to stay on so i went ahead and took out the items for the other cupboard to start the assembly so i guess it's a little production line <laughs> Now I just showed a little more of the process for building this just in case anyone wants it to see. Um, so I'm just showing this because just a note, I think it has it, but with these screw pieces, there's an arrow that you put in, you make sure that it's point the arrow is pointing to the open side, and that just helps. Well, <laughs> you'll have to put it that way in order to be able to screw it in to lock the other screw in place, which is what Barris is screwing in now. yes lift it up perfect now if you are using a configuration that has sliding doors you would need to mount the two cupboards together so that's what we're doing here um just holding it together we did the 
well three screws one at the top bottom and of course the middle for this you would need a drill because you had to drill the holes as the holes were not big enough with those particular screws and a little vacuum or broom to clean up the mess because of course you'd get that with the drilling now this is maybe the most intimidating um process um and this is only if you have these sliding doors whether it be the glass doors or any other type of doors but i think especially for the um Oli <laughs> system how it is it was a little intimidating because of all the pieces but once you start it's relatively easy again organizing all the pieces so you have them together and it's easy and ready for when you need them right and if you have these sliding doors we recommend that you put on the frame first before you put on the like the internal pieces because the internal pieces may block the frame from um setting in place And of course, read the instructions 10 times, 20 times, as they say, better to measure twice, cut once. So this was mm, maybe just a little tedious, um, putting in the glass pieces for the frame, but just take your time on here. So we have the phrase door finish and then the you have the back piece to screw everything into place and then you could put it up. Now the first door, which is usually the outer door or the door that like covers, is the easier door to put in. Like it's easy, you just hook it in, it slides into place, like it's perfect. The real issue is the inner door but anyway i was just showing how the brackets and pieces that have sides is usually labeled with l and r for left and right so no no mix-ups right and then again the process for the next door This part was relatively annoying. <laughs> Okay, and then there's the little things that you don't think of. So this was a little like a fuzzy strip that is like a dust catcher that you have to stick on to the sides of the doors. So it's just these little things. Anyway, this is where the true challenge was, the inner door. We took, we took some time on this one. We took some time on this one. And that is because of um, the track that you, you have to make sure that it goes into the correct track. Cause there are like three grooves on top, three grooves below, and you have to make sure it goes on your right one. So this is where having someone where you could call your sister your brother and you know, then just somebody to say hey just come on guide me here like having somebody helps especially with this part we thought we had success but not fully, it was in one of the wrong grooves. And we got it, finally. <laughs> anyway, another little thing, um, this little rubber strip on one of the frame sides. Then this is the little stopper piece 
um, to make sure that the door doesn't slide off the track. There we go, there we go, making progress, doing things. Now the height I went with on top was a lot like 30 or 35 centimeters because that's usually the size of the cubbies. So I just wanted to make sure it had enough space for whatever I may decide to put on top and I'm happy with it. Now on for the last set of things, the drawers. Now the basket drawers are easier because clearly it's already built and you just have like a plastic cap to put on to the back of the drawers and mount the brackets onto the cupboard itself. Now the brackets, it may look the same, but it's marked left and right to make sure that you put it on the right side. If if you put it in and you find that the drawers are sticking or it's moving weird, it may be because you mixed up the tracks and you put the right side on the left and the left side on the right. Now the space between the drawers are five pegs, so five blank pegs, and then you could put in the next um rack um etc and this is the last piece so around here it was about nine o'clock 9 p.m going into the 12th hour <laughs> but um so we had a little assembly line i started opening the boxes um taking all the pieces to bark and just put the um drawers together and yeah the last drawer which was like the accessory slide all the drawers are already built so it was only the bracket that needed to be attached to the cupboard so there was nothing to build with that piece then i was doing one of the most important things ordering dinner <laughs> What I was doing here, which having somebody else help, which just makes it easier, is separating the brackets um, to left and right. So Bar just had to pick it up and attach it. By and finally, after 12 hours of work, the last piece of the puzzle, perfect. some tips that I could remember offhand. One, of course, be sure to have your measurements. Double check, triple, triple check before you actually purchase to make sure it will fit in the space. Then for assembly, make sure to have someone to help you. Yes, you can do it yourself, but having someone there, just they don't even need to do much work. Sometimes you might just need something done just to ask them. Someone else there helps a lot. In terms of the spacings, so for the drawers, these regular drawers, um, the spacing between the brackets, five spaces. Because sometimes you think you have enough space and then when you put it in and you try to open it, you realize it's not working too much. In terms of the brackets, 
if you do in the drawers um they are labeled left and right <laughs> so if you get in trouble to put it in it may be that it's on the wrong side um there is some little markings on some of them well no there are markings on all of them sometimes it's not as clear or in front of your eyes <laughs> as it should be but the brackets for the drawers are marked left and right so that you know which side to put it on another tip if you have sliding doors um do put on the frame for the sliding doors before you put in your internal components because if you do the internal components first it may make putting on the brackets difficult as well as you should put on the doors as well before you do the internal because some of the things that you need to do you need to like anchor yourself so that you can get in so putting on a side and nose face and then doing the internal components huge tip <laughs> in terms of the hangers um i purchased these from amazon and this is from their brand it's not the amazon basics it's the sog mix Sonjonomix, Sonmix, Sonomix. <laughs> I can't pronounce it, but that is one of Amazon's brands. But that's not the point. Ever since I discovered felt hangers, I've been in love. When I saw that there was this pink color, I was even more in love with a rose gold hook. <sighs> it got me. <laughs> So I usually have I usually used to have the black I would purchase the black um, it was so serious before they even had it in Trinidad I put that extra weight in my suitcase to get my 30 hangers from where it was Ross or Burlington or wherever it was plus I wanted those hangers but anyway <laughs> I purchased these from oh yes and I wasn't willing to pay the shipping fee to clear wait for hangers no that'll be wickedness anyway <laughs> so i purchased these from amazon this pink with the rose gold hook <laughs> it looks so tell me that i'm looking cute i hope that these tips were helpful and if they were don't forget to hit the like button and you can check out my channel if you see any content that you're interested in go ahead and subscribe there you will find hair care well relaxed hair care travel lifestyle a lot thank you guys so much for watching and until next time bye